Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Succession Season Dose. We're back with Season 2 of Succession. Oof, okay, we got past Season 1. We set up all the players. We got through an incredible first season story. I heard some of the comments. Some of you in the comments were saying that somehow the show gets even better. And Season 1 was so good. So I'm so excited to see how this show gets even better. They all know that Kendall killed this kid. And Kendall is now being sent out, I think, to Connor's farm to kind of just get all the goofy out of him. Listen, I saw somebody in the comments say that, you know, you don't agree with Kendall being a murderer thing. But, you know, he did. He was responsible for this kid dying in the car, right? I know, I know he tried to go get him. That's understandable. Like, he tried to go save him. But... He did kill him. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited to start season two of Succession. And if you've been enjoying these reactions, make sure you leave a like and subscribe like usual. And yeah, let's go ahead. Season two of Succession. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Roy. Um, could you come with me, please? Damn, bro's at a magical location. Oh, he's not at Connors. He's probably at like a rehab. Uh, I think he's at a rehab facility. It's just when uh, Logan said last episode, go out to the desert, I thought that meant Connor's place. Do you want to get dressed and we can talk? We might need to pull you out. Sorry, who, who is we? He's probably on edge. He thinks that the cops are always after him, probably. I'm meant to have a silica uh, mud <laughs> treatment. Can I just... Oh, where is this? Beautiful. They have gone public with a bear hug. And the advice was, we should get you on TV this morning as New York opens. Could do this. But God, you could stop it. Just in all of the locations. No, if good, it's like a TV station. They probably they probably own internationally. Hey Ken, so we've got a flash studio. That oh, you're not blonde. Allied with one of your father's bitterest business rivals in a maneuver that could see him lose the firm. Why did you do that? Oh, this is so embarrassing, dude. Having to pull out of this deal. Right? Uh huh. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> He needs a tissue. Okay. Um, just watch the shirt. Oh. Just watch, oh. the, watch the shirt. Chaos. This is this is a hostage situation. <laughs> Look at the way he's being filmed. Uh, pretty good. You know, we're we're uh, we're we're pretty close, so you know that's how we are. Oh well, that's a. That was not convincing. Why did you back out? Right. Um. Sat down and it looks God, it looks terrible. Um, He's like a sweaty corpse. Oh, shit, got a new hairdo as well. Saw their plan, and my dad's plan was better. Look, this is, uh... Oh, he said the line. Shareholders were being ignored. But the fact is... I think it's really cool searching. to have that shot of him in that room by himself, that giant camera staring at him. Mm, I'm Kendall, and I'm a say, sassy little uh, bitch. What do you think? <laughs> What's going on? I thought he was benched. Word was that you were in the pole position to take over, right? And that, that wound is still fresh. For uh, the municipality of New York to uh, find another bus, because if my dad gets hit by a bus tomorrow, the city will be down one bus, not one CEO. Okay, all right, good joke. I like that one. I like that one. The first fucking thing my son's ever done right in his life. Oh, man. And the intro. Did they get some new shots in here? Yeah, I think, yeah, they did. They changed a little bit. He just walked around the New York Stock Exchange with this severed dick in his hand asking where it was good for free soup. <laughs> that, that is kind of what happened. Sandy and Stewie offered out a way out. Oh, look at this Off super spot, real right? location that they're definitely at. Yeah, your dad didn't want you to ride all along, Ken. You got a guy. Did he want to ride the bike himself? That's funny. <laughs> Gotta, gotta go in there <laughs> and gotta face everybody. They don't know you tried this takeover and you fucking failed twice. Try to vote him out one time. This sucks too because he just has to eat everything. Logan could just insult him forever now. I'm gonna pull you limb from limb like a pinata and see what falls out. <clears throat> Such a contrast of where he started in season one. Logan, that is. Wait a minute, he's feeling it's like moving. <laughs> God your time to persuade me to to uh betray me it's like one night one party night they think they'll win yeah we they they think Ooh, let that we sleep in not necessarily uh, logic driven 
getting weaker and you'll crack under pressure. And they think all of that because Kendall told him that. I, th I feel awful and I just want to say... Fine. Well, fuck off. He doesn't feel awful. Well, the only reason he feels awful is because he knows his dad has, sh has shit on him now. Honestly, right now, I need a straightener. <laughs> Thank you. You learned nothing. But that's addiction. Man, that's addiction. That's quite it disappointing. It is! <laughs> How does my banker not know? Sandy's tough. His, his operations are steel. This is two William Strikers, right? They both played William Striker in the X-Men movies. X2, Brian Cox. This guy, uh, Wolverine Origins. Bad movie. Multiverses are in nowadays, yo. William Striker multiverse movie? What? You should make a deal and sell. If you don't, it's going to be a vicious fight. It could extend to months. He wants the vicious fight. Uh, the price that Sandy's offering is inflated. It's inflated by bitterness, ego, and spite. You're in the toilet. In five years, you'll be in the mega toilet. Yikes. He's going to find a way. He's probably going to find some dirty way to get around it. And I don't want to be facetious, but Sarah, <laughs> on that point, I'm not a rocket scientist. I love that shot. <laughs> I love that shot. The, the explosion behind him. <laughs> he's saying he's selling? Mm -hmm. That's, he would never sell, would he? Do we go? Oh! Nice abode, man! Why is Greg here? No, uh, he's out of town? That is from another source. Ew. <laughs> park Coke? Yeah. I'm doing Park Coke? Are you fucking kidding me? I, you're not in the space to, like, be picky, you know? Dude, I'm so sorry. Like, he promised me. Oh, he promised you? You know, did you, did you keep the receipt? Go, get, go, go take it back for a refund. See, it's moments like that when I think Ken, Kendall needs to be humbled. It's moments like that. I like how the beginning of the bike shop made it seem like he's finally riding the bike by himself, but as they turn the corner, <laughs> he's not. I don't know, I think it's just, it's just like a small detail that he needs to be babysat. Oh, well, no, I, I, I guess theoretically, yeah. It's a cool moment. Yeah, good luck. You think he's gonna get the CEO job? All right. You're fucking with me, but Rome, I'm impervious. I'm not fucking with you, uh -huh. I'm just saying good luck. Well, great, well, thanks a lot. And there's no reason for you to blow up. Because <laughs> the ship blew up. I think you're a super talented superstar, and I, I love you. She mean that? Oh, you're such a fucking bitch. <laughs> We're looking absolutely everywhere once again. And all is well now with the renovation? What is that smell? Somebody find the smell. How was your trip? It was good. It was fine. No accidents, no hiccups. I gotta bring up the accent part. Come on. But out of difficult times come strong men. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That could be his character arc this season. An entry key card was found and passed to me. So that's one individual outside of our loop, but it was known to me and who I consider secure. Okay. okay, that's good. That's good. There are no indicators of another individual. Okay. So that's where we are. Good. Good. We expect the UK... It's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be a relief for Kendall. A big relief. Good working with you, Colin. So? What the fuck happened? Why'd you pull out? Yeah, there's, you know, information that you guys can't know about, really. I saw their plan. <laughs> you know, Dad's plan is better. <laughs> He just repeated the card. Fucked you're gonna be as soon as you're no longer gonna use him, right? He's got you eating fucking humiliation gumbo <laughs> on TV and... Can't do anything about it, dude. No, he's a pathetic little fucking narcissist who repeatedly puts his own self-interest above everything else and then tries to justify it with half-assed appeals to the rigors of the fucking market. Jeez, okay, that one felt way too real. How dare you apologize to me? Kendall's true cleanup arc is going to be this season. I'm, I'm already excited to see his evolution this season and see where he ends up. Maybe you should sell. You're old. You've not been well. <laughs> Thanks, Marcia. I appreciate it. Oh. What is this? What? Oh. And I don't want all this shit! I sat around in the stink! Pizza! We'll have pizza! <laughs> oh, rich people shit that hurts but i guess the question that's been put to me is do we really want this fight 
number one rule of gambling, right? You gotta know when to pull out. It's something like that. You gotta know when to fold or, you know, whatever. I think you should fight, but uh, you're the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, that is adorable. You're always looking out for- Does he actually want him to fight or is he just agreeing? How do we know he's not a double agent? Nice to see you, Con. <laughs> well, I for one think that you're in the prime of your life, and I think another decade is just what the doctor ordered. Is that? You know, Kodak was trading at about $100 a share back in 97. Yesterday? Yeah. You could pick it up for about three bucks. Yeah. I mean, it's because, yeah, they overstate, they overstate their welcome. That's like the history of Kodak. With 10 billion. Billion. I'm willing to give my strategic advice in a public forum when I could be a player in any future moves. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Roman. I actually do have a pitch on this, Dad. Financialization. You and me up in a little pot above the city, mm -hmm. fucking startup, shitting on pension funds. Highly maneuverable. Highly mobile. Selling like a portion? Is that what he, uh, what is he saying? The test. No. Whoever tells Solomon not to asset strip the baby gets to keep the baby. <laughs> it could very much be a game, yes. It's to get me out of Parks and Cruises, right? Mm -hmm. Into something like Heartland Media LA. One of the key divisions, you know? Didn't Greg also ask last season something about getting out of Parks into media? What? It's a funny joke. Dad's got cancer. What's not funny about that? It's a good one. He asked me to run the company. I'm kidding. Am I? Shit! <laughs> Shutter the businesses that burn cash, or someone else does better. We make video game consoles. Hmm? Why? Restructure for the future. Maybe merge with a distributor, expand parks, expand cruises, lose news. Look at that, she's getting in. But you haven't really thought about it. Those are just the <laughs> obvious moves. He blackmailed you, oh, didn't shit. he? Oh, yeah, shit. No, no. I, I mean, I'll kill him. Fucking kill him. Shiv. Jesus Christ, it's your brother. It's to formally ask you to come in and be the next chief executive of this company. He'll get her eventually. He'll get her eventually. Because if there's really no hope of you coming in, I'd rather cash out. Having this conversation anyway, then yeah. Nah, he's manipulating her. Right now. That is such manipulation. The market's a move, and that'll be that. Well, this is Elon Musk right here. You want to do it? Yes. There you go. Got her. Why did you never ask me, huh? I would wow, kill this. Man. I'd fucking destroy it. Well, you got your chance now, Shiv. Time to fucking prove it, I guess. This is real. This is real. Remember this. The slant of light. The fact that she has to keep asking if it's real. She, she doesn't want to be just absolutely crushed if it's another game. Fast track you, and as soon as you have the experience, we name you. Okay, so it's not like right away. It's not like right away. Okay. Including Napoleon's penis. That's not the central item. Right. It's one of the items? That and Hitler's nutsack. Blend it into a takeover Europe smoothie. A That's a good one. He offered me the company. I told him to uh, send you to look at pineapple production in Honduras. Well, he actually did offer her the company. That's the funny thing. She played off as a joke. Chair of Global Broadcast News. ATN, baby. Shit. But she wants to get out of the news. So you stuffed a fucking bag of live raccoons to rot in my chimney. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Three bags full, sir. F <laughs> well, I'll pay you a hundred grand all in and we're done. That, that won't even cover the material, sir. That was a 300 grand job, sir. That was the price. Yeah. Of well, sue me. Wow. Good luck. Oh, man. They needed something like that. They needed the rich Royce. Just absolutely fucking over the common man. They say that they're still awful. They're always awful, but you know. One firm right. to stand up to tech. One firm left, last man standing. We're gonna be. Good luck. We're gonna get some of the Kool Aid. I want some of that. <laughs> okay, Connor. Kendall and Roman will act as co chief operating officers. No, he's coming back. We need to stick tight. Oh, wow. You're gonna be tighter than ever now. You're gonna be sharing that job now he tried to help your oldest enemy to take over and he gets a promotion is that what's happened that's my decision well it's bullshit shit okay now roman is now roman's having problems jerry it could be jerry now you might just as well say jerry well okay thank you <laughs>
At least she's gonna leave him wherever this is. This is an ambush. Oh no. Okay. I've dreaded this conversation. You're gonna have to give me something. Tell me what the fuck happened. You had the chance to vote him out. There's a friend card here if you want to play it. You know that, right? There's a human thing standing in front of you. You can talk to me. No. I saw your plan and uh, yeah, my, dad's, my dad's plan is better. <laughs> I guess um, my dad wanted me to ask, is there any way through this, you know, uh, uh, an asset swap? As you know, our position is that we're really after the whole thing. You're gonna bleed cash, he's gonna bleed cash. It will never end. And maybe you'll kill him, but if you don't, he aims to kill you. Well. He will send people around. He will send men to kill your pets and fuck your wives, and it will never be God, dude, this delivery is insane on this. Well, let's move ahead with that process, <laughs> shall we? It's war. It's war now. Oh, that's where you end it. You know what's funny? After that episode, I feel like the Roy's have never been closer. <laughs> that entire, you know, thing in the house where he was asking all of them if he should sell or he should keep fighting. And then he offered Shiv the new job, which that's going to be so interesting. He finally got her. He's been trying to get her in this, you know, an entire season. It's been forever, it feels like. But, uh, you know, he finally got her in here. And I just feel like it's going to end up crashing for her i mean you saw how much she asked them if this was a joke she kept on asking like dude you gotta be serious about this because if you're not serious about this, if this is another game you're just crushing my soul here and i feel like right now she feels on top of the world she's like yes i got the job i got the okay but there is two more seasons left after this one so uh, my guess is gonna be that her deal is going to fall through and she is going to get her heart absolutely stomped on. I don't know how it's going to fall apart, but it probably will fall apart. And yes, it does seem like the Roys are, you know, going on defense here against an enemy. They This season started off with having a very clear opposition, not really an enemy, but an opposition, Sandy and... Stewie and you know a bunch of people are going to be coming for this company and coming for the Roy's and they're in that house you know Logan got everybody you know told uh, Roman and Kendall that they're going to be working together in one position and Shiv is now in Shiv is going to be training and you know Logan Logan's actually like just at his best right now I feel like I keep mentioning this how you know season one started him at his lowest fighting this illness and then we had to watch him get back to his best kind of and this season this season just started he's feeling good he's like i got blackmail on kendall he can't do anything to me i can talk to him however i want to talk to him uh, i got my family here and they're all with me going on the defense here i feel good like the roys are really close together right now on this they're and they're gonna try to fight a common enemy so and with kendall it's going to be really rough to watch and it's going to be really interesting to see how he gets himself out of the situation and how he gets his confidence back. He had a bit of confidence towards the end of the season and in some points in the first season, but right now he is at his lowest. He's literally just walking around doing what Logan wants him to do because, well, Logan has the blackmail on him and everybody is in his face about it. Nobody knows the truth. Nobody knows like, how like what happened with kendall and kendall just has to eat it that's the worst part that people talk to him however they want to talk to him right now and people just absolutely shit on him and he just has to eat it here's my early prediction about how kendall gets out of this whole situation that he killed a kid so you know the case is already buried you know they're like hey you know the kid was driving he was under the influence and he drove off the road like they think you know the kid it was unfortunate what happened to him but there's nobody there there's nobody there on site so like legally wise kendall's really in the clear right now so whenever he gets the balls to kind of step up again to his dad i feel like his dad is going to try to threaten him with the you know the blackmail that he has on him i feel like it's going to have no weight at that point because kendall is going to be so far legally cleared from it and also i don't know maybe he would just step up to him and be like yo i'm done eating your shit like do it if you want to do it do it and then i feel like logan's gonna be like i 
can't send my own son to jail. That's just my only prediction of how he gets out of this because that's the only way I see him getting out of this. Either he gains his confidence back and steps up to his dad and his dad decides to not go through the blackmail or the blackmail will just kind of have no weight anymore because enough time passes. I'm going for the first option. Logan just decides I'm not going to go through with it. But we'll see. And if you've enjoyed this reaction to the opening episode of Season 2 of Succession, and if you're excited for more Succession, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Check us out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.